where does all the problem come from all right we have gone through a lot of stuff and uh, what we thought the problem was but the real problem is something else that we always feel we are not good enough and there is a lack of self love so how did we go from being a tiny baby who knows the perfection of itself and of life to being a person who has problems and feels unworthy and unlovable to one degree or another people who already love themselves can love themselves even more think of a flower from the time it is a tiny bud as it opens to full flower till the last petal falls it is always beautiful always perfect always changing so it is with us we are always perfect always beautiful and ever changing we are doing the best we can with the understanding awareness and knowledge we have as we gain more understanding awareness and knowledge then we will do things differently now is the time to examine our past a bit more to take a look at some of the beliefs that have been running us and some people find this part of the cleansing process very painful but it need not be we must look at what is there before we can clean it out if you want to clean a room thoroughly you will pick up and examine everything in it some things you will look at with love and you will dust them or polish them to give them new beauty some things you will see that need refinishing or repair and you will make a note to do that some things will never serve you again and it becomes time to let those things go old magazines and newspapers and dirty paper plates can be dropped into the waste basket very calmly there is no need to get angry in order to clean a room and it is the same thing when we are cleaning our mental house there is no need to get angry just because some of the beliefs in it are ready to be tossed out let them go as easily as you would scrape bits of food into a trash after a meal would you really dig into yesterday's garbage to make tonight's meal do you dig into old mental garbage to create tomorrow's experiences if a thought or belief does not serve you let it go there is no written law that says that because you once believed something you have to continue to believe it forever let's look at some limiting beliefs and where they come from so first limiting belief is i am not good enough and where it came from i'll share you an example a father who repeatedly told a person he was a stupid he said he wanted to be a success so his father would be proud of him but he was riddled with guilt which created resentment and all he could produce was one failure after another his father kept financing businesses for him and one after another they failed he used failure to get even he made his father pay and pay and pay of course he was the biggest loser now second limiting belief is lack of self love and where it came from i'll share another example so a girl trying to win her father's approval and the last thing she wanted was to be like her father they couldn't agree on anything and were always arguing she only wanted his approval but instead all she got was criticism her body was full of pains and her father had exactly the same kind of pains she did not realize her anger was creating her pains just as her father's anger was creating pain for him another limiting belief is life is dangerous and where it came from okay i'll share another example so there was a girl who see life as very harsh and it was difficult for her to laugh and whenever she did she would become frightened that something bad would happen because people normally told her that don't laugh or something bad will happen okay now we will do some exercise for removing these negative beliefs so bring a large sheet of paper and pen with you and make a list of all the things your parents said were wrong with you what were the negative messages you heard 
गिव योर सेल्फ इनफ टाइम टू रिमेंबर एज मैनी एज यू कैन सो आस्क योर सेल्फ वट डिड दे से अबाउट मनी वट डिड दे से अबाउट योर बॉडी वट डिड दे से अबाउट लव एंड रिलेशनशिप्स वट डिड दे से अबाउट योर क्रिएटिव टैलेंट्स वट वर द लिमिटिंग और नेगेटिव थिंग्स दिस सेट टू यू एंड इफ यू कैन जस्ट लुक ऑब्जेक्टिवली एट दीज आइटम्स एंड से टू योर सेल्फ सो दैट्स वेयर दैट बिलीव केम फ्रॉम नाउ लेट्स टेक अ न्यू शीट ऑफ पेपर एंड डिग अ डीप लिटल डीपर वट अदर नेगेटिव मैसेजेस डिड यू हियर एज अ चाइल्ड फ्रॉम रिलेटिवस फ्रॉम टीचर्स फ्रॉम फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम अथॉरिटी फिगर्स राइट दैम ऑल डाउन टेक योर टाइम एंड बी अवेयर ऑफ वॉट फीलिंग्स आर गोइंग ऑन इन योर बॉडी what you have on these two pieces of paper are the thoughts that need to be removed from your consciousness these are the very beliefs you have that are making you feel not good enough so write down all your negative beliefs and uh, we will see in your next episode